Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new product from Integra Coach. This is the 2020 Vision XL Model 36A. This gives you bunk beds and two full bathrooms. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to take a look at this brand new product from Integra Coach. Uh, it's funny because, as you guys know, my favorite bunkhouse class motorhome, if you've been watching my show for a while, is the uh, 2020 Coachman Murata 35BH. Well, this is a contender, and I don't know if I like it more or less. We'll find out by the end of this video. But before we begin, I want to say hi to Andrea. Hi, everybody. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. We're experiencing this Florida weather. We don't know if it's going to rain or if it's I sunshine. Know. Or, you know, we get all four seasons in one day here Definitely. down in Florida, and except winter. We get the sun and the rain at the same time. Oh yeah. All right, let's get started up front. Model is 36A, but the actual tip to tip length is 38 feet long. Because this is an Integra coach, you have this nice huge windshield. Integra has the biggest windshields in the industry, 120 inches. Also, I absolutely love the headlight design and the Integra logo right there does light up. Coming around the side, you can see that we optioned this motorhome with full body paint, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Right here, we do have these chrome mirrors with the cameras integrated inside of them. This is on the Ford V10 engine, it does have the Ford V10 engine on the bigger upgraded chassis. Look at the nice big 22.5 inch tires with Alcoa rims, I absolutely love this. Also, this is going to be the same product as the Jayco um, Preset Prestige 36A. And a lot of times people don't believe me. Listen, folks, the Integra and the Jayco is the exact same product. And to prove that, look at this, Andrea. J-Ride Plus. Nice. It doesn't have J-Ride Plus. It's the Easy Drive Elite system. I guess they accidentally put the wrong sticker on. That they put the Jayco sticker on. But it is the Easy Drive Elite system which is a computer balance drive shaft system and Coney shocks. Coming down the side here, because it's Integra Coach, just like Jayco, has a two year warranty, three year structural. Coming down the side here, look at this awesome entertainment center. Nice TV, Furion, very nice and awesome. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome and you have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. I absolutely love that. It's a good size. Yep. Now check it out. This is a tier three motor home. So you don't have the aluminum stand latch doors, but you still have the fiberglass, you have the fiberglass doors, but at least they're still slam latch. I absolutely love that. Right, here's your propane and battery tray. It is a 56 pound propane tank. Also, we will have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything down in the description below. And a little bit more storage right there. Finally, finishing up, you have your water heater on the outside. It's a six gallon DSI water heater. And I love how they put it right there. And I love how it's great to match the full body paint. Coming around the back, you have a nice rear fiberglass cap. This has a 5,000 pound hitch in this motorhome, Kento 5,000 pounds. Also, you have a backup camera there, 
and you do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. Sure it's not gonna be wet up there because of the rain? It's okay. Up here on the roof, you can see that this is a nice one piece fiberglass roof. It doesn't have one, it has two air conditioning units because it's a 50 amp motorhome. Right up there is your King Air digital antenna. You have a power fan vent right there. And right there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Here we go now. Please hold on. Uh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen is going to take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And if you guys can hear the wind, don't worry, this will be the last video that you hear the wind because we did hit our goal on the Andrea stickers. We sold enough, so we're getting camera equipment, lighting equipment, visualization equipment, and stabilizing equipment, so you won't hear the wind noise. And audio. And audio, so you won't hear that wind noise anymore. We appreciate everybody who bought a sticker, and uh, we just thank Yeah, we thank you guys so much. Thank you and guys I'm so, so much. excited, I can't wait to use the new equipment. It's coming in April 1st. Thanks, y'all. I don't know if this is the last video then. Well, the last video with wind. Unless it's windy tomorrow. Great, here's a little bit of storage right there. Over here, look at this. This is where you dump your black and gray tank. Easy to get to. Right here's your fuel capacity, 80 gallons. And again, all the specs are down in the description below. A little bit more storage, so you can never have enough. And then here's your wet bay, 50 amp power cord and everything. You did a good job on that. Yep, it's a little dirty. We uh, we just got this motorhome in for transport and I was super excited to show you about it. So they didn't even get a chance to clean it yet. Here's your second black and gray dump because it is two full bathrooms. I love that. Other side of the pasture storage right here. And then here you have a Cummins Onan 5500 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, especially with the full body paint, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, Skippy. He doesn't realize I have to go really slow. All right. Andrea, hang on. Yes. Cargo carrying capacity. Because this is the bigger chassis with the 22.5 inch tires, 4,762 pounds. That is insane. That's incredible. I can't even believe that. Let me see. That is just crazy. Go on inside. All right, slides are in. Okay. Great, so this is what it looks like when the slide outs are in. Theater Plenty city. of space in the living area. Let's see if I can get to the bathroom. Here is the bathroom right here. And yes, I could get to it. Plenty of space for me to walk through. There's the bedroom. Slide coming out. Yep. Big motorhome, Andrea, with three slide outs. This, this is a family motorhome for sure. It definitely is. It has so much sleeping arrangements in here. Yeah. And we have a favor to ask everybody. Actually, you ask everybody. Leave a comment. Hey everybody, let us know the three things you like about this motorhome and the three dislikes. We are excited to see what you think about it. Um, oh, Andrea forgot her line. Oh. <laughs> the more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. I'm pretty sure that's your line. <laughs> so we thank you. Yes, I know, thank I you guys. To, I was just trying to switch things up, make it different. I haven't had enough coffee this morning yet. It's all good. Up here in the cockpit area, I love this. Oh my goodness. Andre, no, sit in that seat. This is so comfortable. Sit in my co pilot flex, seat. It says flex steel. Flex steel. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at how it's like hugging your back and everything. Oh. It is just, it's more like a recliner if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, they need to start making them that way because when they do swivel, that would be nice to have a recliner. Now, is it? your seat power or no? Um, no. Okay, well, the, dr yours, I think the driver's is. seat, yeah, the driver's seat is power. So that's good. And then right up there, you know, this is just your cockpit area, your dashboard and everything. Oh man, what's on my knee? 
Ew. Is that bird poop? Oh my god. Ew. No, it's, okay. Ah, it's not bird oh, poop. Oh, it's from the roof. It's lap sealing from yeah. the roof. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're all smelling it. Oh, that man. is ratchet. <laughs> all right, show everybody the tray. All right, guys, you know I'm not a fan. We're not a fan of these type of trays. Nope, they're flimsy. Yes, maybe one day they'll change it out for Come like on, wood Cody. or something. Well, no, just like a more Anything solid foundation. More, yes, solid for sure. All right, well, Andrea, uh, I'm not going to be on camera anymore because I got gook on my knee. <laughs> okay. So why don't you finish the review? Okay, I, I will finish the review. So here we have the bunk over the cab. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Got to undo the seatbelt first. Yep. Nope, other one. No, no. Come on, Andre. Right here. Push that. Oh, one. I always do that every time. You always do. The last I time know, you did it as well. No, it's, it's so this holds seven hundred and fifty pounds. Yep. Look at that. I love this bunk over the cab. Uh huh. That's good. Um, I love how you don't have to move the seats. Well, well, you kind of do, still. Uh, plenty of space up here. Yep. I like that. Not the most comfortable mattress. But not the most least comfortable mattress right. as well. But what I do like about it is it holds a lot of weight. Yep. So you can fit two people up there. Here we have the theater seating. I love that. Yes. Two cup holders. It's a it's electric seat? recline. Yeah, I was going to say. Yep. So I can't use it right now. Right. Okay, so we have two seat belts here, guys. Have a place for your remotes. Uh huh. Have a nice window here. Look at that. Daytime blinds yeah. and nighttime blinds. Oh my god, I love that. We have hidden hinge cabinetry, I think. Yep. Oh, very nice. Three shelves. I mean, three cabinets. Good lord, I need to drink more coffee. Yep. Very nice. Well, what I love about these theater seats is how it's directly across from, from the television. The TV. Look at that. I love that. Um, nice big TV. Let's see if it swivels. I think it does swivel because it's on this thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you got storage back there. Wow. You got big your storage. Uh-huh. Have the window. Uh-huh. I love the solid surface countertop. Very nice. I it's like it. a Corian material or something, yes. think. And here we have a farmhouse sink. Oh wow. What oh wow. One big sink. Yeah. I do I am a fan of when they have these little extensions here. Uh-huh. You know, it just I love those. Yep. Underneath we have this for your sponges. Nice cabinet underneath with the shelf. Very nice. And we have four drawers here. Well, actually not. Oh. This is for the DVD, I think. Yep. And then we have three drawers. Very nice. As you can see, there's vents here. Yep. It's not through the um, floor. Uh-huh. <laughs> In the side <laughs> instead of the floor. Yeah. And over here we have our microwave. Very nice. Good size microwave. Very big. Cabinet up here. And we got a three-burner cooktop with a glass top there. Uh-huh. Look at this backsplash. I love that backsplash. It's actually very interesting. Interesting good or interesting bad? Uh, interesting good. I like it, yeah. Um, yeah, they're starting to do this this pattern a lot more. I'm seeing yep. more. Yep. Okay, so we also have an oven, guys. That's great. We got an oven and you got another ca big cabinet down here. Or nice. Door, sorry. I'm really off today. <laughs> One of my favorite things. Look at this residential refrigerator. Awesome. Oh my Ice goodness. Ice cubes. Ice maker, water purifier. And it is Whirlpool. Oh yeah. Look, this is really big. Or you know this what it is? This is huge. Because it, is it maybe because it's sitting on that? No, it it's just bigger? so big. It's it's the it's, it's the biggest it's the biggest fridge in the RV industry for sure. It's humongous. Yep, that's what I love about this. Nice. Okay, it's nice too, guys. It has a lock here. Uh huh. So you just lock into place and so, it doesn't swing open. Yep, so when you make a fast turn, it's not going to swing exactly. open. Exactly. Across from the fridge, we have the dinette. Uh huh. Uh, seat belts on both sides. Guys, also, there were seat belts in the recliners, as you can see. I love. Mm, I'm sorry. I love that big window. I do too. Sorry, what were you saying about the table? It does drop down to make a bed. Uh huh. Two cup holders. Um, that that gives great lighting in here. It does. It really does. It's really awesome. Now, look at what they're doing. Look at that mirror, and look what they're doing with the two-tone colors lately. Yeah. I've been seeing that not just in Integra, but I've been seeing it, I think, in Fleetwoods. Or in the Winnebago, I saw it. Yep. It's like they're doing the two-tone color, so that's interesting. I do like the color of the floor a lot. Uh-huh. Andrea. Yes. Is that mirror Art Deco? Yes. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, hang on, really, you, you're missing something. Is there storage underneath the dinette? Let's see. Yes, it looks like you pull that up, and there is storage. Ah, oh, very nice. Well, now it's time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is. One hundred eighty thousand seven hundred twenty-nine dollars MSRP. The reason why it's a little bit much is because we do have the full body paint option on this. But Andrea, sale price. We're trying to blow these things yep. out. We have it for the same sale price as one of these without full body paint. Oh my gosh! To one sixteen nine nine five. That is crazy. That is thirty-six percent off MSRP. But. I can get you a little bit better. With it being 36% off MSRP, there's not much better I could do. But always a little bit. There's always something. Tell them what they can do. They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Let's continue the video. I can't wait to show you this happen. Oh, this first bathroom. This first, Andrea, this first full bathroom. Check it out. This is what I absolutely oh. love about it. It has a shower right here. It has your favorite type of shower. Ha, ha. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> like this type of shower. I like that type of shower. Well, here's what's great about this motorhome. You want to know what's so great about this motorhome? This motorhome has your favorite type of shower and my favorite type of shower. Wow. So it's very exciting. I hate these showers. <laughs> you know what? It does look smaller than normal, but, you know, it's for guests. But again, it's, it's a second shower. Exactly. It's, it's great. Look right at here. this. Oh man. Wow. Storage. I love that space. Very nice. Look. Very nice. Good for linens. Okay. See, that that is one of the benefits to having the shower like this. You do get that storage there. Open that medicine cabinet. Okay, deep sh I like that one that it's deep storage like that. Yep. And we got the little sink, yep. towel holder. Uh good storage. And we also have a fan up there. Fantastic. Now <laughs> for the toilet test. test. Uh oh. for the toilet test we're not doing it right we're not doing it at all porcelain nice close that pocket door real quick i Let's love the pocket got, door i know i want to see if you have room oh you gotta get a little there you go okay it it can work it can work not a prime pooping position it can work but don't worry What's great about this motorhome is we got two chances to make it right. The toilet paper holder looks like it's kind of in a decent spot. Yeah, no, that was in a good spot. And again, this isn't this isn't the owner's bathroom. This is for the kids and the guests and everything. So uh, what's great about it is it is across from this bunk area here. I love this. It has two sleeping areas. Oh, can you fit in there? Oh, yeah. Okay, look. This sleeping area is exactly five foot six. Wow. But there's other options in here to sleep. You got two right. TVs. Yep. In DVD each. players included in the TVs. That's awesome. And they got their privacy curtain there. Yep. Very nice. Check out this walkway. Yep. It's kind of sectioned off. You know, you have a door right here to make it kind of its own room. Very nice and fancy. Andrea, show everybody the master bedroom. Oh, great. So here we have the master bedroom. Oh, king size bed. Look at that. Oh, we got storage underneath. No? Yep, yep. A little bit of storage deep in there. Okay, that's different. All right. So I'm glad that they gave you these little end tables, nightstand things. They do have little cabinets to show on that side. We got three nice cabinets here. Wow, deep storage. Yes, I love, I always love these light pictures. I, we love them. I just... You know, well, you got to turn them on. I will. I just want, can you see this here? It oh. has a little cabinet. Isn't that cute? Very nice. On both sides. I, love the, I also love the both windows. Turns blue. And when you hold it in, oh. bam, brights up. I love that. That That's is super cute. cool and awesome. Both AC units are fully ducted through and you do have zoned air conditioning. All right, so across from the bed, guys, check this out. Boom. Oh. Prepped, prepped for a combo washer dryer. Can you see that good? Yeah, Andrea. 
two bathrooms, bunk beds, and prep for a combo washer dryer. It's, this is, I love this layout, actually. It's very I awesome. It. You got a drawer here. You got two big drawers here. Two more over here. So you got four drawers in your wardrobe area. You got a window here. Very nice. And then the TV, which I believe has storage behind it. Oh, man. Andrea. Insane. You might fill up the... I mean, we thought 4,700 cargo capacity, cargo carry capacity was unreal. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to fill it up in here for oh, sure. Oh, totally. This is great. Got a drawer. I, this is amazing. I, I'm like in love with this. Yep. <laughs> Tom, All right. Time for the final bathroom. They got another chance to get the toilet test we right. Got the thermostat there. Look at this. Okay. It's, it's, it's angled a little bit. I'm liking that. Oh, I gotta open it. Show everything else. All right, so we got the cabinets. I'm gonna start with the shower. No, oh. don't do the shower. Oh. The shower secret, don't show it. Too late. Oh man, hang on, let me get in there. I like that. A 30 by 36 shower. I absolutely love that. Nice big shower. Nice shower head. Good height. Very, I love this, 30 by 36. This is what's so great about this motorhome. We have Andrea's type of shower and my type of shower <laughs> in the same motorhome. I absolutely love that. You can't go wrong. So nice we can do it twice. Very neat. Over here, show this part. We have the fan up there. Uh -huh. We have the medicine cabinet. Nice. Very nice. Sink. Sink. What's this over here? Oh, that's your tank heater. Okay. Yep. Electrical outlet. Hold on. Let's, let's show this one first. Cabinet underneath the sink. And then over there, look at that. Perfect place for linens. Yep. Anything else you might need. Time for the toilet test. And that window. Two. That window is just great in here. Yep. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, I'm telling you. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> nope. This is. This is. I can't say it's perfect. Almost. It's Ninety-five percent. The fact that they took this toilet that was facing this way, and cocked it this way, made the difference. Oh yeah, because. But it, it's a porcelain toilet. Definitely. If it was more over and it was angled yep, straight, you would have no room. Yep. It's a prime. I'm still giving it the prime poop and Nice. It's not an A plus, but it's an A minus. It gets four P's. It gets four P's. It gets 3.83 P's, <laughs> which then we automatically round up. Good we deduct job. Because we deducted those P's. Integra. So four P's. And I love the toilet paste holder. And we have a pocket door as well. Yep, I love pocket doors. Great. Well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before you leave, it's now time that we give you three things we love about this motorhome oh. and three things we dislike about Dude. it. What should we do it's first? It's going to be really hard. What should we do first? I say you get the dislikes out of the way. Perfect. I got them. You ready? Oh first yeah. First dislike. Yeah. I do not like how this bunk does not flip up for wardrobe space. Good point. You're, th I, I love my bunk models, Andrea. You know, I, I love this motorhome and it's so funny because, um, to answer that question we had in the beginning, this is now my new favorite bunkhouse motorhome for this year because of the 22.5 inch tires and the full body paint for the price. And two bathrooms. Yeah, for the price, it's amazing. But I did wish this bunk flipped up out of the way. That's one, two. Outside? Yep, you don't need to go out. You just need to get the camera out here. No, come on all the way out, okay. actually. Two, second thing I don't like, I don't like the small awning. Yeah. You know, it's because there's a third slide out right there. It I is get a it. very tiny awning. I understand awning. it, but you know, and I, I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer. I just don't like the short awning. So that's two. And then number three. Oh, are we gonna pick on the computer tray? <laughs> uh, yeah. Andre is 100% right. Why don't you go and say it? Yeah, look, I mean, guys, you know how we feel about this. Never have been, never will Especially be. Especially with the quality in here. Yep. And the interior, the way everything looks. Yep. This is just terrible. It's just cheap Sorry. and fancy. That's just how I feel. Yep. It's terrible. We said it. <laughs> I said it, Cody. I said it, Cody. <laughs> Cody's our rep. Great. Now, this is going to be even harder because it's three things that we love about this motorhome. And it's the reason really why it's difficult. harder isn't because we can't find three, it's because I have like 30 things that I love Absolutely. about this motorhome and we have to figure out the three best. Uh, do you wanna go first or I'll go first? You go first. Okay, 
First thing I absolutely love about this motorhome is two full bathrooms. Your kids can pee on the floor in that bathroom. Oh, no. And then you have your own bathroom. Also, the shower situation. Andrea likes one type of shower. I like another type of shower. This one gives you both. And then both pour some toilets. I absolutely love that. So that's one. Two. I... I love the arrangement here with sleeping because you can sleep so many people in here. Yep. So it is for bigger families. You got the top bunk that you can sleep on. I mean, you have the dinette as well. I don't know how many of you people want to drop it down, but you do have that. And you have the bunks. Not only that, something that we didn't even mention. I'm so glad you said that. Theater seats is an option. You can get a trifold sofa. Yes. So then it would sleep even more people. So, um, so that's two. And then third's gonna be outside okay I'm gonna Come wrap back the out tire. into the I'm gonna windy wrap the tire. you ready 22.5 inch tires full body paint fiberglass roof two full bathrooms bunk beds king bed combo washer dryer this unit checks off all the boxes and at a price a little bit over a hundred thousand dollars insane come on now that's a great motorhome oh and alcoa rims come on and a full residential fridge Woo! oh that fridge is awesome but this is I one mean, of my favorites vision xl has knocked it out of the park out of the park you know just doing a great job and i absolutely love this motorhome if you have any questions on this motorhome please please call me text me send me an email 301-906-0962 or maxrvreviews at gmail.com. I work for General RV of Ocala, Florida. I can sell you this RV from any General RV, but you have to call me directly, folks. Please, give me a call. You're not wasting my time. That's why I put my phone number out. And you're not internet. bothering him. Don't worry. Nope, nope. Andre, you want to say anything to the Yes. Guys, thanks for watching. And sorry about the wind, but just hang in there. Uh, we'll have our new equipment we hey we can't thank you guys we enough thank you, thank enough. you so thank much you so much you guys are so sweet and awesome and i just hope everybody is well and take care of themselves and remember let us know the three things you like about this and the three dislikes that you have okay great nice. have a great day thanks so much everyone andrea we'll, we'll see you next time, time.